Da -da 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 -da. What up guys, Matt here, country song teacher. Hope y'all doing well, guys doing huge things in your life. My desire with this instrument, I love this thing, is to make it as easy as possible and kind of take away the mystery behind it. Any kind of little tip I have, trust me, I want to share it with you all. This, this helped my rhythm so much because it seems like lately what I do is I get up super early in the morning. I'm an early riser, by the way. I get up early and I start reading all the comments. I get so many comments of people struggling with rhythm. Trust me, I was there, and at first, your brain's trying to tell your hand what to do over here and over here, and you're trying to put them all together. It's going to be really tough for you, especially as a beginner. But try this little exercise and see if it can kind of help you overall. What you're going to do, you can use kind of any chords. I'm going to use the G, then a C add 9. One second, buddy. I'm going to do a G, then a C add 9, then a D, because uh, I'm going to keep the bottom two strings locked. And all I'm going to do is kind of... exercise is going to do is going to help obviously your chord changes that kind of thing but what I see so many people do they see a chord and they think they're supposed to just just go back and forth up and down strums until it's time for the chord change but so many times you've got to do certain patterns and a certain kind of timing so to speak within that chord so for example on this G chord like in two bottom strings you go fifth and six you want to kind of pluck the top two strings with your pick or your finger I'm actually using a pick this time I got me some new country song teacher picks, so I'm gonna start doing um, prize giveaways with those. But so you're gonna do a half, kind of a half strum, then a full strum, and I got a little, a slight pause. So half strum, full strum, then I'm gonna go up, down, up, and then go to the next chord. At first, at first, let's just stay on the G chord. That's kind of exercise. Well, you know, so for some reason, this can, sometimes when I used to teach people in, in person, this would help them. Maybe this can help you too. Maybe even come up here. Sometimes when you bring your hands closer together, if you have a smaller guitar or whatever, it can, it can kind of help you because, like I said, you, you can see both hands what to do. Like I said, if you can play regular, that's fine. But maybe even come up here and work on, again, the first top two or three strings. Don't get too, too caught up in the details. So... Half strum, strum, then down, up, I mean up, down, up, so. Okay, you'll make sure you're hitting those top two strings of whatever chord you're playing. So with the C, I'm gonna go down the top, I'm gonna move my top two fingers down to the C at nine. You're gonna do the same thing, except you're gonna strum the fifth and fourth. So on a D chord, we're going to keep those bottom two strings locked, press the third string, strum the, the fourth and third together. You can come in, buddy. You can come in. I'm a little guy here. You been eating some Cheetos? And a little orange face. I like it. Go play some guitar with daddy. You know, I was watching daddy in the videos. So the biggest takeaway from this video is learning that kind of pause after the down strum. Pluck, strum, up, down, up, pluck, strum, up, down, up, pluck, strum. Buddy, you sound good. You been practicing? You been practicing a little bit? I guess I got my replacement one day. This is Mojo. It's my old guy. He just turned three. Um, so again, pick any chords, guys. Like I said, you use E chord. But this is a great rhythm exercise because it teaches you that timing within the chord. Again, if you're a beginner, I do this too. I see so many people, people will send me videos to kind of review or whatever. People just go like this. And again, they have good intentions, but it's just down up, down up real fast. You want to get where that kind of... Also, guys, like I said, I, my ultimate strumming DVD, I've sold a thousand of those things. 
It's called the Ultimate Strumming DVD. It's right here. 15 bucks. I do an hour and a half of details just going over strumming. So if you struggle, all your strumming patterns sound the same, you struggle with rhythm, I've got tons of exercises on there. Be sure to go get that. Countrysongteacher.com. Yeah, bub. When you're done, I want to. I'm having trouble hearing you. I'm having trouble hearing you. <laughs> That's funny, bud. All right, guys, check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. Me and Mojo are out about to go eat some tacos. Your mommy make tacos? Yeah, my made some tacos. So, all right, guys, grab that strumming DVD. Like I said, let me know in the comment section below if videos like this help you. I love teaching songs, but also sometimes like breaking down one thing. So I'm, I'm always about that trajectory in life. If you can learn one simple thing each day. Like a palm mute, a, a strumming pattern or whatever. It's going to help you be better overall. So thank you guys for tuning in. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And check out the website, countrysongteacher.com. We don't have to buy diapers anymore, right? We don't have anybody in diapers anymore, everybody. We don't wear diapers. But, we, but they're still expensive, so I got to support Daddy. these little kids. What's up, bud? Um, Dad, can I watch some farm animals? You want to watch some farm animals? He wants to watch some farm animals. So, peace out. Tell everybody bye.